like, I'm getting, like, floral burning. <laughs> it just... <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. I have my monthly unboxing madness, where I open subscription boxes. And today I have four boxes to unbox. Sometimes I have two, cause I have my ice cream beauty box and I have my Ipsy beauty box. But then there's random months where I get acquire more, like mystery boxes or like this month I have the trend mood booty, booty box. I said it again, <laughs> the trend mood beauty box. And I also have another box in here. I just find boxes and then I add them. And I think that it would, is fun for you guys get to, to get to see me open boxes because that's, I mean, isn't that fun to do? I like to watch other people open boxes, so I think it's fun for you guys to get to watch me open boxes. So I think we should probably just get started because I talk a lot. I'm going to try to not talk about each thing in the box too much. <laughs> we'll see. I have a blank face. I do have um, like primer, sunscreen on but I don't have anything else on. So I'm gonna put on what is in these boxes on my face at the end. Let's start with one of my favorite boxes, which is the Ice Cream Beauty Box. This is $25 a month. There are five to seven beauty items in here. Usually it's all makeup. Sometimes there's a skincare item in here and it is $25, no shipping. We have, it is the Heat Wave box and I always love that the ice cream beauty box comes with this little card because it's so nice to be able to tell you everything in here and it helps when I'm writing up my description box it's so nice so you can see that there's some little dragons on here because there is going to be something dragon themed in this box first of all I'm just gonna get the first thing from this box is from Delancey it is a holographic highlighter I'm excited about this I love highlighters and I love holographic stuff Cool. Okay. It shifts from white to like bluish purple. Wow. That is going to be gorgeous. Let's see if we can swatch that right here. Wow. So cool. I'm so excited for that. Yay. Okay. It says that it is $20. That is a good price. Highlighters are usually pretty pricey. So that's a really good price. Okay. The next thing I'm pulling out of the box is from the brand ZC and it is a UVA, UVB. I'm getting that it's a sunscreen, but it doesn't say sunscreen anywhere, but it will here say that. SPF 50 moisturizing primer. I already have a sunscreen primer on and I can put another one on, right? It'll be fine. That combines the benefits of sun protection with the perfect base for makeup application. Cool. Awesome. Fantastic. And SPF 50, that's really awesome. Let's see, what does it say about this? I always forget to read these things, probably because I'm trying to not take forever. This is a shifty highlighter that is meant to add an ethereal glow to your complexion. Did I tell you that that SPF was $29? I don't know. It is though. <laughs> okay, the next thing is from Gerard Cosmetics. Ice Cream likes to work with Gerard Cosmetics, I've noticed. And that's great because I've noticed that I like things from Gerard Cosmetics. So this is a Hydromat liquid lipstick. Ooh, I love that. It's kind of lilac-y. Wow, it's in the shade Honeymoon. Hydromat liquid lipstick, $20. Fall in love all over again with this liquid lipstick in the shade Honeymoon, a dusty rose shade that captures the bliss and beauty of eternal romance on your lips. Okay, cool. Exciting. We have a liquid or a lip liner. This is from Appeal Cosmetics. I swear we got... We had like kind of a similar thing last month. Like we had a lip liner from Appeal and we also had a liquid, it was a lip gloss from Gerard, but it was, you know, something for your lips from Gerard. So we have just similar, which is fine, but it's interesting when you get similar things. Okay, so this is a gel liner. This liner, and like last time, it was safe as an eyeliner or a lip liner. And this is from um, Appeal and it's $21. So this is more than the lipstick, which is interesting. Okay, I think it's in the shade Chic. It's hard to say because um, it looks like that could be part of the actual name, like Gel Liner Chic, but I think that might be, there doesn't like, seem to be another name on it. Okay, the problem here is those don't seem to, eh, you could make it match, but 
don't know. We're going to see what we have based on all of these boxes. Okay, the last thing in here. So what everybody else got in their boxes would be from Sugar Drizzle, this Plumeria Dragon. And this is awesome. But this is not what I got in my box. Okay, hear me out. That sounds weird. Okay, I already own this palette. And so when I saw that this in the spoilers was coming out and I already owned it, I was like, oh no, I already own this palette. So I uh, direct message, I DM'd Ice Cream Beauty and I was like, hey, is there a possibility that since I already own this palette, is there a possibility I could get a different palette? If not, that's fine, whatever. Just if, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask. And she said, yeah, sure. Um, is there like any color story that you like? And I was like, yeah, I like purples and like warm tones. And so she sent me a picture of a color story and was like, we probably have this one. And I was like, yeah, great. So I got a different palette. So this one is the one that I have purchased myself from Sugar Drizzle. But it's probably the palette we're gonna use today because it is the one that everybody gets from Ice Cream Beauty. This is what I got from Ice Cream Beauty because I asked for a different palette. So I just think that is so cool that they are able to do that for me. So you, ha I did have to reach out myself. It wasn't, it wasn't a big deal. It was really easy. I just direct messaged her on Instagram. So, okay, so it says MB which I was, when I first got this, I was like, who's MB? I don't know who that is. And it is Muse Beauty. And look at this, this is a really beautiful packaging. We have like Greek, I feel like it's very like uh, Michelangelo or is that Leonardo's painting wise. I did take art history, it's just been a really long time. Anyways, it's a really pretty picture on there and it's uh, the Rococo palette. And look at how pretty this is. It is exactly what I said I liked. Warm tones, purples, wait, no, purples over here, Bianca, <laughs> purples, warm tones. Like I said, that's what I like, and she was able to send it to me. So nice, so pretty, so I'm really glad to have that. Yay! That is everything that I got in my Ice Cream Beauty box. And the Dragon, the Plumeria Dragon palette is worth $40. This one, I'll probably put it in my description box, what it is worth, because I have no idea. It's not on here, because not everybody got it. Next box is the Ipsy Boxy Charm box. This one I get when I don't get the Icon box. So I get the Icon box quarterly. So this one I get eight times a year. It is $30 a month. There is a $1.99 handling fee and it comes with five full size beauty items. I get to pick three of those and Ipsy picks for me two of them. I don't love the Ipsy Boxy Charm. Um, I, I liked Boxy Charm better than Ipsy, which is funny because now Ipsy and Boxy Charm are, are one, and so it's now the Ipsy Boxy Charm. But I just don't feel like this Ipsy Boxy Charm is as good as Boxy Charm. Does that make sense? Check my description box, and you can see everything inside of my box and the prices and everything. Also, I always forget to say this, but I have referral codes. If you want to use my referral links, if you want to sign up for Ipsy or ice cream, you can use my links and then it would save you some money and it would help out my channel and that would be awesome. Check my description box for all of that. Okay, what did Ipsy BoxyCharm pick for me this month of, oh my gosh, I haven't even said that, what month it is. It's June. I mean, you guys know that it's June, but if someone sees this in the future, this is June, 2024. I'm having kind of a bad day. <laughs> like I'm kind of, you know, when you're just having a bad day. I hope you guys can't tell, except for that I'm kind of like Liberty Gibbet, but look, I'm just, just kind of in a bad mood. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, cool. So um, here is the first thing that Ipsy picked for me. It is the Il Maquillage. It is the Color Boss Squad Multi-Dimensional Eye Color Quad. I think I already have gotten this in an Ipsy box or a BoxyCharm box. I can't even tell you for sure because I've already like decluttered it and given it to friends and family. So will this go in the declutter pile again? Maybe, I don't know. Um, it really, I do have something to say about it. It is sturdy. So this is all metal and this is a heavy, heavy compact here. So that is something to like, that makes it seem like it's worth a lot because it's sturdy. You know what I mean? It, it It's heavy in the hand and it's sturdy and it's like, ooh, this is, this is nice, right? Um, and it, it luxurious is what the word I was searching for and couldn't come up with. Okay, so we have some nice colors. Okay, I am 
trying to get myself to like neutral colors more. I just, I'm not really much of a, new, neutral colors are very pretty. I just like to play and I like to wear fun colors because they're more fun. They look good every day, but I like to play and I like to make my eyelids like a little canvas. And so I like to put on a lot of fun colors. Like if you can see my nails, fun colors. Um, and this is just not as fun. It is, I am turning 40 in two years, so should I be going for more neutrals? No, I don't care. Um, anyways, it is really pretty. We have two mattes and two shimmers. It's a pretty, I, you know, should I probably hold on to this? Yes. I didn't drop it. Okay, anyway, so that's one thing uh, that Ipsy chose for me. Another thing Ipsy chose for me is from JLo Beauty. This is really substantial. I guess I'm saying that about everything right now. When it told me the things that, Ipsy picked for me, it was like, you know, a tiny little picture of it. And so I didn't think it would be this large, which is nice. So this is, it says it is a serum. Is it a facial serum or a body serum? I am hoping that it is a body serum because I have tons of facial serums, but not a lot of body serums. So let's see. Directions, apply to dry clean skin, AM or PM. It says see outer box or insert for warning. This is all I got. <laughs> Let's see. Oh good, I have an insert. <laughs> okay, I was like, outer box, I don't have an outer box. I have an insert. Okay, here it says, apply small amount to clean dry skin, use on face and neck. I would prefer if this were a body serum, but it's a facial serum. Eh. Okay, the reason I'm like eh is because I have a million, and by that I am exaggerating. I probably have 10 or 12 facial serums in my Alex 9 drawer right now because of Ipsy, because I get them in these subscription boxes and I can't go through them that fast. I use a serum every single day, but it takes me time to get through them. What did I choose from BoxyCharm slash Ipsy BoxyCharm? This month was kind of disappointing. I didn't find as many, like the choices were all three. I was like, meh, meh, and meh. And you just saw I was kind of meh about that facial serum and meh about the eyeshadow. <sighs> Ipsy. I really am not a big fan of it, the Ipsy Boxy Charm. I love Ipsy Icon, but it's only four times a year. So you have to get this, the other eight. Maybe I should go down to the Ipsy um, Smaller, like the one that has the sample sizes because it's less money. I just don't like sample sizes. I just wish I could get Ipsy Icon without getting this because I don't really like the boxy charm. So the first thing that I picked for myself from the list was a fragrance. And I do like fragrances. I really do. I actually did a video, uh, a fragrance video, and it bombed. <laughs> It got like 27 views on my channel, which I haven't got that low of views since like when I first started my channel. So um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more fragrance videos because it did really bad. I know that right now everybody's getting low views on their channel, but that one did really low. So anyways, I do still really love fragrance, but I have a lot of fragrance. Like I have a lot of makeup, but I also have a lot of fragrance. So I was kind of like, do I need another fragrance? But the other choices were so um, mediocre, as I was saying, that I was like, okay, well, this is the best option. So it is from Lifestyle Co. It is in the scent slash, the, the name of it is Align. So right now, you guys have no idea because you can't smell through your computer or your phone or wherever you're watching this. But my son, this is pretty funny. This is something that he's done so many times, but my house smells like burning right now. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to smell this downstairs. I am upstairs and the smell came from downstairs in the microwave to upstairs. He <laughs> was cooking a instant macaroni and cheese and forgot to add the water and put it in the microwave without the water. This is like the eighth time he's done this. <laughs> it's so funny. And he's so embarrassed, so I shouldn't even tell you guys. Anyways, but I'm wondering if I'm ever going to be able to smell this because right now, my nostril, all I'm smelling is burning. But let's try it out and see what I can smell. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
it smells like burning. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I have no idea. I don't know. Like, I'm getting like floral burning. <laughs> you guys the scent notes because I cannot smell anything it smells just like burning oh my goodness like I know that was a really random story but it had I had a reason for telling it okay it says this delicious perfume is more than just a scent it's an experience it takes you on an aromatic journey towards balance and harmony with notes like apple bergamot cedar and sandalwood sandalwood it's the perfect blend of freshness and warmth unfortunately i am not getting any of that because it smells like burning okay i would say right now i don't super like it that is a terrible indication though because right now i'm just getting burning so it's kind of soapy smelling though so anyways fun i'm not happy with this box so far Okay, the next thing I picked was from Pink Lips. It is glass lip gloss. So in two different shades. And I'm kind of getting into lip gloss more. It's still not my favorite. My favorite is a liquid lipstick. But lip gloss is kind of the thing. Like everybody loves lip gloss. There's two. All, you know, I can get two lip glosses for one choice. Again, it really there was really not much for that choice. So... I have two lip glosses. Hopefully we'll get to wear one of them. And one of them is kind of more pinky. One of them is more glowy. We'll see if we wear one of them. Okay, the last thing that I picked was, this is the most exciting thing, brushes. And I usually don't even like brushes because brushes are not very exciting. But it is from the brand Game Beauty. And this is an indie brand that I have. It's on my like to try list. My list of indie brands that I want to try. And I haven't tried anything from them yet. And so the first thing I'm going to be able to try is some brushes. I like indie brands. I'm excited to get to try some brushes today. And we will be using these when we try on the makeup today. So that was a very disappointing box. I'm really excited about those brushes. But this box cost me $30. Would I have paid $30 for those brushes? Probably not. I really don't know if I'm going to do another month of, of this, uh, of being disappointed, you know? I think I either might quit, because I really, I finally did break down and quit FabFitFun. So, and FabFitFun has been my best video on my channel in a while. So, and so that was a risk. <laughs> the next box we have is the Trend Mood box. I pretty much hinted at it that it was the trend mood box but it is the trend mood 25 box it was forty dollars but using the code trend mood in all caps i got it for 38 dollars so i have all full size stuff in here for 38 dollars pretty darn good and i will have in my description box the prices for everything in here like the retail price so you can find out how much like what a good deal I got in it. It's kind of, I always say in these videos when I get a trend mood box, because it is kind of like a subscription box, but it's not. You spend only so much money, but you get a huge value out of it. Um, like I'm spending $38, but it's probably gonna be worth over $200. But it's not a subscription box in the fact that I don't just pay $38 a month and then every month I get it or every quarter I get it. You know, it, it you have to every single time purchase it. Every time a new trend mood, trend mood beauty box, that is the hardest name for me to say. Every time a new one of them <laughs> comes out, you have to purchase it. And for me, I have like, I'm signed up for the text messages and the emails um, for it to remind me. And so when I get a text that says, hey, it's dropped, I just purchase it or I don't purchase it based on what's in the box, whether it's things that I want. Um, because sometimes it'll still have that value, and but it's things in the box that I don't want and so I don't get it. But this time, there were things in the box that I wanted. So I got it. <laughs> wow, there is a ton of stuff in this box. $38 for all that stuff, that's a lot, It's a lot. Which is I think why 
I got it from, oh, <laughs> it's just the component. Okay, let's find what this component goes with. So this is just a fine Mr. Reusable component. What does this go with? I got this, everyone. Okay, this is, they're both from Soft Services, but they're not the same color. It threw me off. Okay, okay. Soft Services is the brand. This is a Clearing Mist Medicated Breakout Tonic. I don't really know what a tonic is. Like, it sounds like stuff they say in, in like, the books, you know? Like, the old, olden times, like, drink this tonic. I do break out on my nose. It is the one place I'm a 30 year old, I'm 38 years old and I break out on my nose still, which is super fun. My adult acne on my nose, yay. Although this says it's for your body. I don't actually really have body acne. Luckily, this is kind of like ice cream beauty and the fact that you can't choose anything in here, which is, you know, one of the downsides of this box but it is how they get to, you know, make the price so good because you don't get to make choices. All right, the next thing is from JVN. It is Nourishing Shine Drops. JVN is a hair care brand. So I believe these are hair care drops. <sighs> Honestly, I feel like things should say more information on them. It just says Nourishing Shine Drops. Like this could be shine on my face. I mean, some people like having a shiny face. Okay, here it is. Brilliant hair is here. Apply to dried hair. These s dried hair? Usually drops I apply like to wet hair because I feel like it'll make my hair kind of greasy. Anyways, these are shine drops. Cool. JVN is a pretty good brand from what I have heard. Okay, then we have a brand that I actually really, really love. This is from Vacation, and Vacation has amazing sunscreens. Usually, usually they smell like sunscreen times 100. Like they have more of that coconut and banana smell to them. They're just so good. Uh, this is Shake Shake SPF 50 Mineral Milk. This is my second SPF of the day. It's June, so it's, uh, you know, I use SPF, so it's fine. I thought I could open it. I don't know. It, everything just smells like burning. It just smells like burning. Okay, well, here we go. We have an SPF 50 mineral milk. Okay, then we have, from e.l.f., we have some bronzing drops. And <laughs> e.l.f. is one of those brands that just dupes everyone. And they are duping, you know, the the Drunk Elephant bronzy, the bronzy drops. Although I feel like other people are duping them. Like I have these from Isle of Paradise. This is a sunny serum and some face bronzer. So it's, it's not like they're the only ones that did it. Anyways, but these are a lot cheaper than this Isle of Paradise ones. And what's kind of cool is that they have like, I think like three different colors of this, you know, bronzing drop. So anyways, although I just got pure gold, I didn't get to choose which color. And I wonder if like three different colors came in the box and I just didn't get to choose or in every box it was pure gold. I don't know. Anyways, cool to have that. I actually, what I do is with with the Isle of Paradise ones I have, I put my sunblock in my hand and my sunblock is very like white toned. It's very, you know, it's, it's a white sunblock. And so when I put it on my face, it makes me look like a ghost. It doesn't rub in very well. And so I also put those Isle of Paradise drops and then I mix both of them into my face and then I have like this glow. So right now <laughs> I can do that. I already have some on, but whatever. Sunblock with the bronzing drops because that's my favorite way of using it. So that's great. Then we have some lip jellies. This is from Tony, Tony Moly. And we have two lip jellies, which is nice that we have two. Like two things in the box from this brand. That I feel like that doesn't happen as often. Um, they are lip melts. One is in blackberry and one is in watermelon. Are these, what are they? What's a lip melt? Is it a mask? Jelly lip melt locks and seals moisture with a fruity watermelon glossy finish. Okay, so I don't think it's a mask. I think it's kind of like a gloss. Interesting, we're gonna open one of them, the watermelon one, because that is the one that apparently I chose to open. Oh my gosh. So I lived in Japan for a lot of my childhood, which 
doesn't matter. But um, this looks like a little candy that we had in Japan. So anyways, that's really cute. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Is it? It's really not that jelly. Like I thought it would be kind of jelly, but yeah, it's just kind of like a lip gloss, a lip balm. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, that's so cute. I love Tony Moly stuff. They're so aesthetically pleasing. They're so cute. I love that. Okay, so two of those. A palette. Okay, so it's a mini palette. It is from Natasha Denona. It's the Valentine's Day exclusive, which is interesting because it's June. And this box, I think I got it on May 31st or something like that. And this is a Valentine's Day Natasha Denona palette. Interesting, but I have a ton of Natasha Denona palettes, but I don't own this one. So when I saw this box, this trend move box, I was like, that's a Natasha Denona palette I do not own. Okay, this is a, it used to be $25, they're now $27. So this box I got for $38, and this was $27 of it. So I'm already making up for the difference there. And it comes with a little brush. Two more things. Let's see, a Vitamin Boost Hydrogel patch. It is a B12 Green Caffeine. Okay, cool, and there are four patches. Awesome. I knew that they were gonna be in here and it had like different kinds um, of these patches, so this is just the one I got. Awesome. And then last but not least, we got from M Cosmetics, which last time I got, I got the Trend Move Box 24, I got an M Cosmetics palette, which I was really excited about. This time we have an M Cosmetics volume and length mascara. Yay, exciting. Okay, so that is all that I got in this Trend Mood beauty box, so much. Okay, let me count it out because I feel like it was a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, these, we're just gonna count this as, as one, nine, because this is the mister that goes on top of it. Nine things for $38. Like, the economy is really crappy, and to be able to get nine things for $38 is a killer, killer deal, right? Okay, next box. Okay, so the last box is the Tarte Custom, what do they call it? Custom Beauty Kit. So Tarte does these custom beauty kits, I think annually, but they could do them two times a year. I don't really know. <laughs> the price has changed over the years because of inflation, but it was $69 for this custom beauty kit, and you get seven items for $69. So it's barely less than $10 an item. Although one of the items is a bag. So I personally don't really think bags are that exciting because I got Ipsy for so long that I have a ton of makeup bags. So to me, I, I would say that it's more the other six things that are of value. The bag is fine. It's just not something that I really find valuable, but it is, it is something you, you can't choose something else but a bag. You can choose the bag. You like there's like three different bags you can choose from, but you have to choose a bag <laughs> for that item. Okay, so I was able to choose seven items in here for $69. I was able to get free shipping. I had four dollars and eighty three cents of tax. So in all in all the total for this was seventy three dollars and eighty three cents. And that's just taxes in Utah. Tart, what did I get? What did I get in this kit? I already opened it, I already put it in the bag. So what did I get? First, I get this bag. Okay, so it comes in this box with this cute tissue paper, and the tissue paper matches the bag. Okay, uh, and kind of the box too. So anyways, I thought that was kind of cute, and I was gonna mention it. It's this pretty lavender color, and I really like it, and it has like a zippered front pocket. You know what, if we're gonna talk about bags and how I'm not that excited about bags, this is a really nice bag. <laughs> like, I, usually only use these kind of bags when I'm traveling and I need somewhere to stick my excess uh, cosmetics and you know shower stuff and all of the stuff you need when traveling and so I'll have bags like this. The problem is I don't travel very often. I travel like once a year. So this bag will be great for that one time a year I travel. Thank you. Good bag. It, it is a good bag. I just don't travel that often. Like how they do this thing is that they have options. And the first option is like 
foundations. So you can pick a foundation and they have like liquid foundation and they have like powder foundation and whatever. And then they have another option that's mascaras and they have another option that is like cheek products and they have another option that is eyeshadow products. And they, so every option, you can't just choose all eyeshadows, all eyeshadow palettes. Cause then you, it wouldn't, that would be a way bigger value <laughs> if you just got like seven eyeshadow palettes. That's not how it works. You have to choose a foundation, a mascara, a cheek product, a, I already said mascara, whatever. You have to choose based on the categories. Do I remember what the first category is? No, I think it was foundation. So anyways, we're gonna just go based on that. So I got, oh, it's a little worse for the wear. It's a little ripped, but it's fine. It is the Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. So have I been fake tanning? Yes. So will this match me? Hopefully, <laughs> like I chose it based on what my summer color would be. So hopefully it'll fit, it'll match me. It is in the shade light, medium, neutral. Yeah, that should match. Like I feel like I'm light in the winter time and light medium in the summertime. So I think I did good. And I had a sample size of this Maracuja tinted moisturizer or hydrator once upon a time and I loved it. I used it all up and that doesn't happen very often with me. So I was like, hey, I think that would be a good one. Okay, so I'm excited to have that. Since there are no other foundations, we are definitely gonna be wearing this on the face today, whether it matches or not. I mean, I can't. <laughs> Come with me. I feel like it matches itch. It might be a little yellow, but whatever. We will make it work. Okay, what was the other category? I don't remember, but we're gonna go with mascara. I got this Man Eater mascara. Okay, I have done this beauty kit before. So I feel like I've gotten a lot of their mascaras and I don't feel like Tarte is really well known for their mascaras like, or, or they are, but I don't personally think Tarte has the best mascaras in the world. Like I feel like there's better drugstore mascaras out there than Tarte mascaras. So I just kind of picked one. I picked one based on like the pictures that they had of the models and I was like, oh, this one's eyelashes look the best. So I got the Man Eater one. As for cheek products, I got a blush. And they had a lot of different options for cheek products. You could get bronzer, highlighter, blush. I have been looking into getting this. Actually, when I was doing my red blush video, I was looking into getting this, but I couldn't get it on sale. And it was kind of pricey. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I had tons of red blushes, so I didn't want to get another one that was full price when I didn't need it. Anyways, do I need another red blush? No, because I did that red blush video but I like this formulation, this copycat of, speaking of people who dupe things, everybody dupes this Charlotte Tilbury blush. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury, you know, this, this formulation. And so I thought I'd try it out. So here we go. It is in the shade Cherry. Ooh, lips. This is Tarte. This is something Tarte is really well known for. These Maracuja Juicy Lips very, very well known for these. I thought it would be fun to get one of the shift ones. Okay, so they have a whole bunch of different colors where they're different colors at the beginning, like where they're green or pink or purple or this teal one. They have a whole bunch of ones that they started certain color and then they show the after and it kind of made it seem like they're all going to shift into a different color. I, do, will they? I don't know. I feel like these pH changing lip glosses all just change pink, but you know what? Let's put this on right now. My lips are kind of dry and I just thought this was a fun summer color. So that's why I chose this color particularly. It is in the shade Jelly Bean, which is funny because Jelly Bean, you know, I feel like that is kind of Easter and springtime, but to me, it's like summertime. I mean, look at it, it like matches my mermaid over there. So anyways, let's put that on and see what it does. Okay, I feel like it has a plump to it. Like, I just made that face because I'm, I'm feeling plumping. And I purposely chose this one because it wasn't the plumping, and I hate plumping. Okay, we'll see if it gets painful. Right now it's just kind of like pepperminty, and I'm like, okay, it feels like it, can, it will get painful, but we'll see. I don't like painful plumpers. I got a brush. Honestly, I don't remember what was in this category, but I got a brush. Brushes I feel like are not exciting, 
because they're not like these beautiful, colorful eyeshadow palettes or blushes or pretty things, you know what I mean? But they last. If you get a nice brush, it can last forever. And you're like, this this is something that will never run out. So it's, it's a good thing to have. Anyways, I think this is a, it's a cream face brush. And I thought that was cool because I have a lot of brushes for like powders, but I don't have like, whenever I have cream, I use my beauty blender. And then it ends up being full. <laughs> Let me just pull it out for you. Um, like one side is my foundation and this is my blush. And then I also have like this side is for like my cream bronzer. Um, so this is my cream blush, cream bronzer, foundation. There's no, <laughs> like I'm running out of sides. Um, so I was like, it'd be nice to have a cream blush or cream, what did it say? Cream face product brush. Last but not least, I got this palette. And I have been act this palette has been on my Ulta wish list for a long time because it's so cute. It is Tarte Sugar Rush, which Sugar Rush is like a offshoot of Tarte, I guess. And it's called the Cravings Palette, and it's supposed to be a little like chocolates. You know, this was technically, if we think about it, all of this stuff was like ten bucks each. If we include the price of the bag, then I was able to get this for 10 bucks. And so I was like, awesome, that's a really good deal. So I was really excited about it, but I have just watched Alexandria Ryan's video and she got this Tarte kit and she got this palette and <laughs> she swatched it out and it did terrible. And I was like, oh, dang it, I really wanted this palette. So I don't know, we'll see if she just got a dud or if she wasn't like swatching the shadows as like as hard as I do. I don't know. I do more like intricate eyeshadow looks than she does. So I don't even know if we're going to use this eyeshadow palette because I kind of said that I was going to use the Plumeria Dragon. That is all that I got. That was a lot of stuff, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. This video. If you have stayed this long, I really appreciate it. Please stay longer because now I'm going to put on my makeup. Let me organize what we're going to put on my face because I need to organize it into trying to, you know, a good mixture from each box. If I were thinking about this video and all the stuff that I would get in it, I wouldn't have already put on <laughs> SPF this morning. But I went and sat outside for a long time. So, you know what? It was worth it because I needed to wear SPF. Anyways. What do you guys think about my lips? Are they pinker? I think so. I think they're pinker. They're still kind of burning. Like, even like I can feel it and it's making me think about my lips and I'm like, oh, my lips are kind of burning. But I'm not like, ow, 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 ow. I'm not super happy about it. Anyways, cool. So we're going to use these two things that I got from the Trend Mood Beauty Box. Whew, that's the hardest word, name to say. I always want to say booty box which is not what it's called. Okay, so it's very liquidy, and I feel like that's a good amount of SPF. We are going to mix it with the bronzer drops. And this is not the only way you can use these bronzer drops. There's lots of ways you can use them. They're actually bronze and nourish, and just like the Isle of Paradise ones, they also have skincare ingredients. These have antioxidants and sunflower seed oil. So it's nice, it's nice that it also, it's not just bronzer. You can use it as um, skincare. So when you mix it around, it's funny because it was like white and then and the bronzing drops were obviously brown. When you mix it, it kind of turns this like bluish grayish color. I've always thought that's really funny. So when I put it on my face, it looks bad. <laughs> but then you rub it in. Wow, that smells really good. That smells really good. Rub it in. I wonder, I wonder which one smells that good. I wonder if it's, it's probably the sunblock. I wouldn't say it smells like sunblock. I feel like it smells like fruit. Wow, my face is greasy now. I like how it applied. It smelled really good. Which one of you smell really good? I don't know, but it smells really good together. <laughs> so there is my face with both of those on. Fantastic. We are going to go with this Tarte Maracuja oil, oil, Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. Does my face need to be more hydrated right now? Meow. 
Look at it. Look how glowy it is. It's actually really nice. Like I would go out like this. I would probably put some concealer on my nose because this is where I break out. But anyways, it seems like it's a little even dark, which is fine. It is a tinted like moisturizer, so it should adapt. Actually, and now you put it on and it kind of looks a little light, right? You never know. I never know. It's hard to pick a color, am I right? I guess we don't have a concealer. You know, they did have a concealer. It's Tarte, of course they had a concealer. Tarte is well known for their concealers. I think I chose the brush instead of a concealer because I already have like their shape tape. I have a shape tape. I actually have two shape tapes. I have one in it like a, <gasps> well, that's what I'm gonna wear today. I better wear it. I have one in like a summer color and one in a, like a more of a winter color for myself. They also had like their glow tape, but I was like, no, they had some that were more like um, color correctors, but I have color correctors now that I don't wear because I always forget. Okay, that looks good. That looks really good. I like, I like tinted moisturizers because I feel like I don't want to look like I have a lot of foundation on, especially because I usually do really intense eye looks. So I don't want to have an intense face look, but I do want to cover some of that redness that is on my cheeks and on my nose. And I feel like it, it blended in to match my skin tone. Tarte, Shape Tape. This is in the shade 27B Light Medium Beige. We're gonna put it on my nose because my nose has the most redness. I probably put on too much, because that's what I do. Oh, I definitely put on too much. There we go. Nice, okay. So pretend I got that in the kit. Just kidding. We're gonna use the Plumeria Dragon. Which is funny because technically I didn't even get this in my box, but everyone else did. So it is what we're using. We have a ton of pink shades and one teal shade. I am obsessed with pink shades, which is really funny because I used to not like pink shades, but I didn't know. I didn't, I don't know. I didn't know what I didn't know. We're also going to use these Game Beauty brushes that I got from Ipsy. There's two things we're going to be using from the Ipsy box. We're going to be using these brushes and this lip gloss. So good. We are going to start with this puff of smoke and just do a transition, which is what I always do. Oh my gosh. These brushes are really soft. One thing I don't super love, and this is just me, is that they have color on the end because when I'm cleaning them, I'm like, was that color there or did I accidentally stain the brush? That's just me. Now I'm mixing it with this Miss Dragon. So doing a little Miss Dragon, a little bit of puff of smoke and just deepening it up in the outer corner a little bit. I'm contemplating whether I should do a halo eye or my regular like inner corner, bright outer corner dark. It all depends on this one. This is my inner corner. Ooh, it's not as bright as I thought it would be. Natasha Denona doesn't have a really good inner corner shade. <sighs> okay, we have from Il Maquillage. We have, it's a, ooh, it is, this is Il Maquillage. This is the dragon one. And let's see Tarte. Ooh, Tarte has this one right here. Do, do Tarte, Il Maquillage, and what did I say? The Sugar Drizzle? Okay, wow, I actually really like that Tarte one. Maybe we can use both palettes. We're gonna go with Miss Dragon and Slay and put that in my outer corner. Cause if I mix it with that Miss Dragon, I feel like I can just stop it from going too dark all of a sudden. Maybe. Pretty. That's a really pretty color. I love P. 
pinky tones are so pretty. Okay, so I'm really happy about these brushes. I know I have a lot of brushes in my makeup collection, but I swear a ton of them I have gotten through Ipsy, through the years that I've been doing Ipsy. I contemplated using the Dragon and Egg one in my waterline, but I feel like I've done that a lot in just looks that I've been doing this summer, and I'm just kind of bored of it. <laughs> like, it, if you haven't seen those looks, because I've done them on my off time when I'm home, and I just feel like it's every look I've been doing lately, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I love the Ice Cream Beauty box. Out of all the boxes I get, the Ice Cream Beauty one is always good. Every time. Okay, so now we are going to put on a glitter primer because I'm going to go with a glittery shade. So which glittery shade? This one, this one, or this one? This one, this one, or this one? I like that one. I think it was Dragon's Breath. So... Dragon's Breath. That's pretty, yeah. Then after I do Dragon's Breath, I'm gonna, like, I love this kind of look because I feel like it's kind of ombre. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna fix, I feel like that one. Look at how bad that, <sighs> I'm glad I'm gonna fix it because editing Bianca would be like, really Bianca? Anyways, I'm gonna do the fire kiss so that there's a more of an ombre to it because remember I didn't like that it wasn't super light. So I am going to put it there and then I'm going to take that Tarte Shadow, which was even lighter, so that our inner corner is really light. That's why I like this like darker to lighter. I just love the ombre look. As you can tell, like the ombre with my hair, like brown to whatever is going on down there. <laughs> it's supposed to be blonde, but I get bored and add color depositing conditioners. <laughs> okay, then we have this one from Tarte and we're going to add that magical shade up here that doesn't have a name. Okay, so, so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Yep, I like that I'm using this palette. Okay, I remember from Alexandria O'Brien's video that she did say that the shimmers were better from this palette than everything else. So, and based on this color right here, I think that it's amazing and it is a shimmer. So she might be right about that. <laughs> Cause like I should swatch some things out. Okay, maybe I could. Let's swatch some of these other ones with my other hand. They look great. So maybe she got a dud. They seem um, awesome. So I am happy. I know I haven't used them on my eyes yet, but I feel like they always do better on the eyes than they do swatching. So that's why I'm kind of saying that. I wish this had more like orange to it because it's a dragon. So you think, I know it's a plumeria dragon, but I wish they'd had some orange. I feel like that would just really top off this palette. There's a little bit of orange. Okay, look how pretty that is. Okay, I washed my hands and I added bronzer and eyebrows. So, let's move on. Okay, we have blush. This is from Tarte, the Tarte box, and it has never been opened. So, uh, I also have the Tarte brush. I wonder which <laughs> Does it matter which side I use? I don't know. Okay, there we go, let's see. Ooh, here we go. Here we go, we have some color. Okay, okay. I have to say I don't love the brush. It's too big. My normal blush brush, I do have a blush brush I use is this one from Ruffer, um, but I use this more for powders. It's like half the size. Um, so, and then when I use a liquid, I'm usually using the bottom of my beauty blender, but I guess it works. It works. Is this working with the situation I have on? Kind of. 
it's a little warm and this is kind of coolish because I did purple um, but it's okay I think it's okay my actually my last video I uh I really had not a good look at by the end it was crazy so we're hoping for that not to happen this time I think wow okay so this is a very pigmented blush and I found out with that red blush video that I closed it because this is one of those things you have to open and close and when you because of the way that it is a squeezy you kind of squeeze on it to close it and so make sure to close it anyways I found out doing that red blush video that uh, a lot of the blushes were very pigmented and some of them were not meant for my light skin tone. Anyways, I think I was able to get that to work. I think it, it looks really nice and I think it is even okay for this eyeshadow look. So now we have highlighter. I'm gonna kind of go with my fingers because I don't want to overdo it with the brush. Oh, it is really pretty. I was hoping it would kind of look more purple than blue. In my view here, it's looking blue but I think it's kind of bluish purple, so I'm okay. Especially because this is kind of purpley, so. Yay! I contemplated using this highlighter um, in the eye look, but I am glad I didn't because I really like what's going on. This is kind of like a fiery, it's kind of like a dragon, like, you know, fire, right? Because it's Flumeria Dragon. I would say because my lips are so dry <laughs> that the original this juicy shift I put it back in the box why did I do that <laughs> this maracuja is basically off of my lips so I don't even have to wipe it off because my lips have already absorbed it so I didn't love this okay now we're because we're gonna put another lip something on okay so a couple of things on so here we have from this was appeal right appeal cosmetics and this was is the lip liner Hopefully, because we're going to do this as a lip liner, this Gerard Cosmetics as the lipstick, and then this is the lip gloss. Hopefully it all goes together. Nope. I would say no. This is definitely, like, warm. And this is cool. There's that lip liner. Okay. Then we have from Gerard Cosmetics. We have the lipstick. Oh wow. It is less because we're it kind of looked kind of lavendery, lilac-y, but on my lips it's more pink. And I don't love that as much. I would have liked more of the lavender to come out. Okay, let's make sure I got every ooh, I also have mascara. Okay. We also have this lip gloss. This is from Pink Lips. This was from the Ipsy Box, because we only had two things from the Ipsy Box that we were able to use. It was the Game Beauty brushes, which I am, that's the best thing from that Ipsy Box, unless I super love these, which is a possibility. Um, cool. I would like it to look less pink, so I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one, because it's a little more pink than I would like. Oh, pretty. It came off. <laughs> I feel like it was supposed to be like a, like a liquid, like a, it stays and it came off on the doe foot. So I wouldn't say it stays. It's not a pink that I usually wear. I like pink on my eyes, not on my lips, which is weird because, you know, usually pink is on your lips. Let's do that mascara. Um, I decided to wear the M Cosmetics mascara because I already was using three things from the Tarte kit. And so I wanted to use three things from the Trend Mood kit. So this is will be that third. It is in the shade black. Pretty. It is a just a very thin bristles and they're plasticky, which are kind of my favorite. I like the plasticky brushes. Bristles, I mean. Oh, and it's on my teeth. <laughs> Fun. I know a lot of people do this whole routine with their lips. I rarely do that because it gets on the teeth. I either do lip gloss on its own because then it transfers, but 
it's just a gloss so it won't get on my lips or I do a liquid lipstick on its own because then it usually is transfer proof. Once you put that lip gloss on top, it's gonna get everywhere. <laughs> your teeth, your husband, your water bottle straw. This is a nice mascara. Okay, so there it is. There is my finished makeup look. I think it looks nice. I think it's a pretty, I think it's summery. It is like warm-ish and cool-ish, like warm but cool but glowy. I like it. I like it. Would I wear this again? Maybe not this exact combination, but I actually think it's pretty. I do, compared to the last time, which was not. <laughs> but I think it's pretty. I like it. My, I would say that I really, really liked the Tarte box. I think I did really good. There were some things that, like, were not my favorite. Like, I, I didn't really like the Juicy Lip, the, the shifting one, because it... <sighs> kind of had a little bit of a plump to it and I didn't really like that and I wasn't expecting it like there is one that says plump and so I would have expected a plump but this one doesn't say plump it just says shift I actually was really impressed like the the eyeshadow palette I was thinking would have been a dud after watching Alexandra Ryan's video but it ended up being really good I thought I know I only used one of the shadows but I did swatch them out and they seemed really good for me uh, I really liked the trend mood box I really liked the ice cream box the Ipsy box, you know, I need to make a decision. I need to downsize or cancel that because I'm really sick of, of spending $30 on five things that I don't want. Or usually I want one, one of the five. Let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, like this video. If you want to see more from me, subscribe from my, to my channel. And if you want to be notified of my video, push the bell. And I always forget to say this. Subscribe to my Instagram. It's also Bianca Scogan Beauty. I do some things on there. Sometimes the same things I do on YouTube, but sometimes I do different things. So subscribe to my Instagram. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.